In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get a top toolbar toolbar back in InDesign. So, if you are in here in Window and here in Essentials, and I'm just gonna reset Essentials, I don't have any toolbar right now. But here, I can see Control Turn On, and I have the toolbar. But don't worry if you don't see this here because I just created this myself. <laughs> so to turn this on, I'm going to show you. There's actually multiple ways and I know you love this at the top here. It's very helpful and really, really practical. A lot of designers are using this and it's, it's just, just uh, powerful. You can't sometimes work without it sometimes, you know. But now, uh, also, if you want these tools, you can do it from here. So, tools, tools, tools. But if you want this at the top, you have to go to Window and then Control, Control, Control. And now you can also, after you change this, you can go to workspace and click on new workspace. And here you can name your workspace, my favorite workspace, something like this. Click on cancel. And that's what I created here. I just created a new one here. If I want, I can go back in here and then I can go back to the way I wanted this and voila. Now you also here have maybe go to printing or other options, whatever, topography is totally different. You can go back to your workspace. So I hope you found this helpful. It can be very annoying sometimes when you maybe even close some of the panels here. You can see that for each panel you have right click and you can right click and select close. So maybe you close all these uh, panels and now, uh, sorry here, but I'm just gonna close this because you can close this by mistake. Because I don't even remember how to close this one, but if you don't have here this option, no worries, you can close it from here. Also use the shortcut, um, Control Alt 6. All right, and now you can, if let's say you mess the workspace, we can go to window and here we have workspace and reset control turn on now everything went back to normal we also have here control properties we also if here we have properties enable disable properties so this can be very very helpful for multiple situations so thank you so for much for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial Make sure you subscribe if you have questions related to InDesign. Let me know in the comment section. I'll create a tutorial for you. And now I'll see you in the next video. Take care.